Stay back. Stop, please, stop. Stay away from me. No, no please. Wait, wait. No, please, please, stop. No, 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 no. no. Stop it. Stop. Don't. And that's just the tip of the iceberg, guys. All right, that's just a little taster scene from this horror movie called Terrifier 2, which has just started its national release in the cinemas in the States. I'm not sure if it's available here in the UK yet. The reason it's making the headlines today is because apparently people are going to the screenings and puking up and fainting. That's what various outlets are reporting, as well as people on Twitter. Now, those of you who are familiar with cinema and familiar with the history of some cinema will know that years ago when The Exorcist came out in the cinema, the same thing happened. In fact, here in England, members of the St. John Ambulance would attend some screenings because people would faint and get very ill while they were watching The Exorcist. And this does make The Exorcist look fairly tame. Um, but, uh, I mean, this, look, there's another scene that I have that I can't really show you because it's so gory. I can show you some pictures from it. They'll come up on your screen now where the clown killer, who I believe is called Art, is um, basically just chopping up a woman and there's blood everywhere and it's horrible to watch. As you probably guessed by my tone, I'm not a massive horror movie fan. I'm really not a fan of these kind of films especially. And I do find some horror films contain rather deep, satanic undertones and that does concern me because I'm a Christian. I think what I find really weird about this is firstly, I don't understand why people would want to go and see a film that's so violent and so gory for pleasure. I've never understood that. I've watched lots of violent and gory films, but a lot of the times when I watch those films, the violence and the gore has a purpose behind it, meaning there's a reason to it. So if you watch a war movie that's really gory and violent, and it's based on a war that happened, you kind of have an understanding of why the violence and the gore is there. But when it's completely fictional and it's intensely gory and violent, not like, you know, Dirty Harry movies are violent, but like this, where it's really, really violent, you kind of think, I, I wonder why it's so violent. Even people who are hardened horror movie fans are saying, yeah, this was kind of like torture porn. My second concern about a lot of these horror films, and this is a trope throughout most of the horror films I've watched, and I haven't watched many, right, I've got to be honest with you, but most of the horror films I've seen, there's always this trope of young women being pursued and violently assaulted, and sometimes assaulted sexually before they're brutally murdered. And I think, I just don't get it. It's throughout so many horror films. I just don't understand this. Because we've come all this way in terms of how society views women, and yet horror seems to be that genre where it's okay for women to be terrorized like this. And we sit there and go, oh, that's, that's, that's entertainment. But they always seem to fit into this bracket of it's a young, you know, perhaps a girl who's maybe a bit above college age, a young, beautiful, developing woman who's set upon by this freak of nature and then just horrifically abused. I don't get why this is such a trope. I've always found it so disturbing. Throughout, you'll see it in loads of horror movies. You know, even Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Last House on the Left, all that kind of stuff. You think, I... I, anyway, not my kind of thing, always found it very concerning. But there we are, that's just my opinion. No doubt people have lots of nasty things to say about that opinion. My advice is, don't watch this movie. I wouldn't recommend you watch this movie. Uh, enjoy your peaceful sleep with a calm and less fearful mind by avoiding it. Do something like that. Watch, watch a funny movie instead. Watch something else for your... Uh, Halloween fun. Watch an 80s comedy. Watch a classic like Fletch or Beverly Hills Cop or Planes, Trains and Automobiles or The Three Amigos or The Jerk. We'll just go through a whole list of 80s films now, shall we, as we fade away. Let's do that, yes. Armed and Dangerous. Police Academy. Police Academy 2. Police Academy 3. Police Academy 4. Police Academy 5. Police Academy 6. Mission to Moscow.